Hello you most beautiful and most amazing top teners, I'm Rebecca Felgate and welcome back to the channel that puts everything into crazy little top 10 lists for your enjoyment. Now today I have a weird and wonderful one for you, I present to you the top 10 weirdest looking dinosaurs. Now before we start I want to state the obvious and tell you that I'm going to be butchering the names of these dinosaurs because they are so hard to pronounce. The name will be written on the screen so you can see the word and just try for yourself to pronounce it because good luck. So this list is actually more about the way the dinosaurs look than they sound so please don't murder me, let's get going shall we. In at number 10 we have the Tanyistrophus, that's right the Tanyistrophus. Now this is a giant reptile that was around 6 meters long so 20 feet. Now literally half of this size is neck. These gangly critters date back to the mid Triassic period so around 232 million years ago and their skeletons have interestingly be found in both China and Italy. These honeys have like stabilizing back muscles so they can swing their neck back and forth like willow. I whip my neck back and forth, no I don't know, they look weird. I love them though. Next up we have the Hesperonychus. I think I said that right, it's difficult. Now you've gotta love this little fellow, the Hesperonychus looks like a cute but partially nightmarish cross between a chicken and a crocodile and the demon headmaster. Never smile at a crocodile and no need to smile at a Hesperonychus either because it will do the smiling for you. That's right, the crazy eyesed murderous smile coming to get you. Now the Hesperonychus is a carnivorous dinosaur so literally may be giving you the smile because he literally wants to eat you, he's going to kill you. This little chap was discovered in Alberta, Canada and is thought to date to the late Cretaceous period. In at number 8 we have the Tradoon. Now the Tradoon kind of looks like a Vegas showgirl with the sassy leg and feathery arms and I think that you know what, they look really cute. Now this dinosaur is from the Campanian age of the Cretaceous period and was around 3 foot tall so like this size, 3 fifths my size, yeah it's a good size. Now their bones have been found all over North America, as far north as Alaska and as far south as Wyoming with possible bones being found in New Mexico. Now they had a very long slender hind limbs suggesting they were able to run very quickly and they also had huge bulging eyes. Freaky. Now if you thought that these dinosaurs were stupid you would be wrong, there's actually evidence to suggest that the Tradoon had the biggest brain to body ratio than any other dinosaur. Wise. At number 7 we have the North Ronicus. yes, now look at this major babe of a dinosaur, this chap has long claws and a furry pot belly and can't decide whether he'd like to be a yeti, a bird or a dinosaur. Now the North Ronicus was the first ever breed of dinosaur to be discovered in North America, which is pretty exciting. Now this dinosaur is a theropod so from the same family as the Tyrannosaurus and the raptors, but this furry beast seemed to have enjoyed a herbivore diet, everyone's best friend. In at number 6 we have the Coolindodromus, yeah I mean. That's how we say it. The face and posture of a bird but with the tail of a reptile and creepy little withered legs. Ah. So from Jurassic era Russia, this dinosaur is a feathered bipedal runner and it was approximately 1.5 meters in length. It had a short leg, short forelimbs, long hind limbs and a long tail. Can you imagine seeing this thing running at you like meep meep? This dinosaur threw up a level of confusion when it was discovered to be an ornithopod, yes I've said that right, ornithopod, and they were presumed to be exclusively scaly rather than feathery like this cheeky roadrunner. Either way, it sure is freaky. Flaps, thrills, horns ahoy, next up we have the Cosmoceratops. Now this dinosaur was from near Utah in an age long before the existence of the United States. The Cosmoceratops was a late Cretaceous period dinosaur. Now look at its face, it's all adorned with like a crazy array of flappy bits bits, frilly bits and horns. Why could it possibly look this way? Well apparently this was to attract the opposite sex. Why hello there sir, could you take a dinosaur that looks like he's wearing a toupee seriously? I think not. In at number 4 we have the Concavator. First of all, great name, second of all, great hump. This early Cretaceous theropod had a little triangular hump and we don't know why. My other favourite thing about this dinosaur, check out its forearms, they were surrounded by quill like knobs that sprouted feathers during mating season. At none other sexy times of this year, this dinosaur was a scaly beast. Now the Concavenator is thought to have been around 6 metres long and was discovered in Spain. And now because of its sexy arm feathers I can't help but think of doing like a little Spanish sexy dance when it's trying to mate, it's like woo ladies come here to me. In at number 3 we have the Gigantoraptor, 
Yes! Now I blooming love a 6 foot tall dino bird. The Gigantoraptor is a giant theropod dinosaur from what we guess is the Santonian age. Fossils from this big bird have been discovered in Mongolia and it was thought to be around 8 meters long and weigh around 1,400 kilograms, so that's over 2 tons. Now this dino bird had long claws, a beak, hilariously feathery arms and a feathery tail. By all intent and purpose, you should have been scared by this dinosaur because of its sheer size and weight, as well as its claws and implied agility from its physique. But seeing this giant running chicken would have been hilarious. It would have been like, my god, I'm gonna kill you! In at number two, we have the Linhenicus. Now the Linhenicus is a theropod dinosaur from the late Cretaceous period and was found in Inner Mongolia, China. Now this genus dinosaur gets part of its name from the Greek word nicus, which means claw. Now being named after its most hilarious feature is kind of cruel. Look at those teeny tiny claw hands, like I feel sorry for it. Now this dinosaur makes this list because let's face it, it's a bit of a freak. Now T Rex has had short and pointless arms, but this is by far taking it just a little bit too far. Look at these poor excuses for arms. How would this dinosaur fight? It would be like neck nudging its enemies and then like mm, mm. Yeah. Now the Linicus is only a couple of feet long, so it's like maybe this big, which means its claws would have been only this big, which makes it kind of cute. So guys, we have reached that all important moment in our most amazing top 10 weirdest looking dinosaurs, and the number one is by far the most ridiculous and also has the hardest name to pronounce. So, Excuse me while I try. In at number one, we have the Epidexipteryx. Yep, the Epidexipteryx. So when I first saw a picture of this absolute goon of a dinosaur, I just cracked up laughing because Honey looks like she's been to the salon, is waiting for her nails to dry, and like doesn't want you to look at her hair. So this dinosaur is a bird-like dinosaur from the mid to late Jurassic era and lived in Mongolia, China. Now this dinosaur represents the earliest known example of ornamental feathers in the fossil record. I mean, look at this hilarious excuse for a dinosaur. The color and the sass of the whole thing is. Now, according to paleontologists, the species could be quite predatory. So, do you want to know what the most hilarious thing about this official dinosaur? I will tell you. It was only 44.5 centimeters long, so 17.5 inches, including tail feathers. Now, it would weigh just 164 grams. So, if you angered this predatory bird, it would be like a teeny tiny thing just coming at you. Okay, so that was the top 10 weirdest looking dinosaurs slash the top 10 words Rebecca absolutely cannot pronounce. Now. It is important to mention that these are impressions of what scientists suggest the dinosaurs would have looked like, but we will never truly know. There may have been even freakier dinosaurs out there that our minds can't even imagine. So do let me know which of these dinosaurs was your favourite in the comments section down below. For now, I'm Rebecca Felgate. You can follow me on Instagram or head on over to my vlog channel where I'll mostly be using words I can pronounce. So this has been Most Amazing Top 10. Be sure to like, share and subscribe for more fabulous Top 10 videos coming at you. I'll see you honey next time.